Hello, hello guys. I am Zachary, the ghostwriter. Let's talk about steaming at mountains, rivers, and caves. Things have changed. It's no longer like before. These days, man, it's safer to steam at home than to steam at mountains, rivers, and caves. I must tell you that. Because you are exposed to people you don't even know when you are steaming at mountains, rivers, and caves. That's why on the previous video, I decided to show you my plastic and I also show you my bucket that I am using. Let me go a little bit deeper, you know, to those who have no idea why people steam. Maybe you got Taelo that you must steam once or twice a month. And because of, you know, 2020 has been very difficult. We were dealing with lockdown and you know churches were closed and also you know places like the arel or spaza shops were also closed were not operating you found your you or you find yourself in a situation whereby you're stranded you don't know what to do you don't have your own plastic you don't have your own bucket you have no idea what you should do Maybe you were introduced to places like gym and you thought you were lucky simply because of they have what they call the steam room or they have what they call sauna. But unfortunately, man, I got bad news for you. You know, the steam room that you're using at the gym is only for your skin routine and also for your health reason. It has nothing to do with your spirituality. So many people from you know, 2020, 2021, 2022, they have been banking on a sauna that they find at the gym or a steam room that they find at the gym as a replacement for steaming that they're supposed to do monthly or they're supposed to do twice a month. And they were like, okay, simply because of I was in the steam room. I got bad news for you because that one at the gym, man, you know, you are in a room which many people come in and out you are steaming with different people who come from different backgrounds who are doing different things for a living you know others you know they were just doing whatever that they were doing and they come back in the steam room and you are inheriting stuff that you don't even know uh there is a car which is playing loud music now Let's talk about, you know, steaming at mountains, rivers, and caves. It is no longer like before. I need you to understand who you are, and I need you to understand your ancestors. There is a certain way that you connect with your people. The majority of spiritual gifted people, they just find people steaming and they see that the plastic is bigger there is a room for them and they end up asking to be included in that steaming i wanted to use the other word but it's going to be bad this is youtube we need to be extremely careful with whatever words that we're using let me just say they ask to be included in the group of those people who are steaming not understanding who they are not understanding what their ancestors wants or their angels want they go in there not knowing what type of mixtures are in there what type of water has been used remember water has different departments we have Moela, we have Makopano, we have Poror, we have Sidiba, we have Laragua, and, you know, we have Leshata. Those different types of waters are doing different things to you spiritually. Others are unlocking. Others are, without not talking too much, others are helping you to start seeing a lot of stuff now when you go to sleep. That's the reason why... You will hear somebody said, you know, I just went to the steam room. I felt lighter. I went to sleep, man. The dream was so clear. 
is because if you use a certain water that helps you with clarity it clarifies things you know and there is a certain types of water that when you're using those who keep on being on your toes who are using the paparazzis you know the the, the 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 investigators the ones who are investing too much into your lives what are you doing what are you achieving what you just bought you know have you ever had you know he just bought this he just got married you know the mom gobozi the ones who are behind your stuff they end up not understanding anymore what you're doing simply because of you using a certain water they think maybe you're still staying in that apartment not knowing that you moved already they think you're still in that marriage not knowing that you already moved out of that marriage they think you're still operating in that business not knowing that it is no longer your business it is still carrying the same name but it is no longer yours you have sold some shares because of now they cannot track you spiritually whereby they can understand the stuff that you're doing right so different waters have different task that they do when you are doing that steaming thing so it's very important to know who you are to know what will connect you to your people and to also know what kind of steaming it's okay for you there are those who doesn't need to be in the extremely heat steaming they just need to be in that mild steaming. When you put them in that plastic and you close in that plastic and that heat when it goes up, you know, they cannot even breathe. It's not in their nature to be in that too much heat. They have those ancestors who are very, very quiet, who are very peaceful. They don't want... So you need to know and understand who you are. So that when you are doing your steaming, you're doing your steaming based on your body, based on your spirituality, based on the way they want you to do that spirituality or that um, steaming rather. So I've seen many people who shows up and they find people sitting next to fire, stones are red already. And when these people, they start taking those stones to the bucket, they start reminiscing about what they were told you know days ago or months ago and they're like oops i don't have a plastic i don't have stones i don't have the dialogue but these guys are steaming how about i join them it's wrong because of sometimes you join them in the plastic you don't know what they did yesterday and you don't know what type of dialogue they are doing and that's the reason why every time we are done steaming we have to take the plastic to the water and wash it so that whatever flows with the river whatever energy with which you are removing from your body it goes with the energy because the certain people are carrying a dark energy whereby they cannot find jobs they cannot you know uh, prosper in life everything is just going sideways and they need to steam so that they can remove that darkness imagine when you are in the same plastic with the same person who had that darkness you end up attracting or connecting with that and at the end of the day you get surprised now things are just going sideways at work people you know people are just shouting at you people don't see you as a human anymore they're just disrespecting you because of you inherited you know certain energy that you are not supposed to inherit it's all about energy it's all about energy for you to vibrate in a different manner in a different level you need to be your whole self you need to you need to be who you are. Unfortunately, 90% of us, we are the shadow of what we are supposed to be. Because of we dim down our light, we adjusted how we do things, we compromised a lot, we sacrificed a lot so that we can make other people happy, we can you know, make a room for other people, we can seen as we can be seen as people who are thoughtful people who are loving and caring and we can make other people feel welcomed not knowing that we are losing our identity we are losing our true self 
And when that person that you are compromising, that person that you're trying to accommodate, goes somewhere because of they are also in their journey, you are left with the ghost of yourself, the ghost of who you're supposed to be. You don't know now how you're supposed to go back to yourself because of you neglected yourself because of you were trying to dim down your light trying to welcome somebody or trying to accommodate somebody you are dimming your light and that's why mostly when you see people being given the dialogue like you need to steam maybe twice a month or once a month is it is for you to remove that cloud which is in you that cloud which we can just say is a cloud but actually it's a different energy because of you are not operating with your hundred percent capacity simply because of you are a shadow of who you're supposed to be now so in that manner that means you are reducing or you are taking out all the energy which is not supposed to be in your body now you are still you are connecting with your inner being what they call Buena, whereby now you are f you are yourself your no is no yes is yes you are not in between you are clear you know exactly who you are you know what you're doing and what you are not supposed to do you know and unfortunately the majority of people we are the ghost of what we're supposed to be simply because of now we are compromising a lot based on the things that we get from you know trying to play along because people are saying life is a game unfortunately the game is rigged no matter how hard you try you cannot win why don't you just become yourself take a loss but just know that this is me this is what i believe in this is what i want to do and that's it this is the path i'm taking as you see me you know creating spiritual content i know it's one of those most difficult uh, type of content that you can create and put it out there because the naysayers always have different ideas and different stuff that they want to say and blame or criticize where they want to criticize but just create man create something which is authentic and put it out there you will never go wrong with authenticity because of the stuff that you're talking about they are out there and people are dealing with them a lot we see the majority of people complaining about they are stuck in life and we're asking ourselves questions, where did we go wrong? The truth is that we are not who we're supposed to be. We have lost ourselves. And it's not about somebody who is out there. The answers that we're looking for is not there. That person is not going to bring answers. That prophet is not going to bring answers. That pastor is not going to bring answers. That bishop is not going to bring answers. That traditional healer is not going to bring answers because they are also they have their own problems that they don't even have solutions and they're also looking outside and they're looking at other people who can bring solutions we have seen it several times we have seen people coming from other countries Ghana Nigeria you know um, Malawi coming here and they are preaching the word of God but if you sit down your pay attention like this guy is still dealing with these problems the truth is answers are in us we have to go internal rather than hoping that people will bring answers from out there you know and steaming men is one of those things and i know that there are a lot of people who watch my videos in many occasions and they will be like yeah bro you're doing great content but you're all over the place you talk about a lot of stuff i it's like i have horses running in my head i have so many things that i want to say you know unfortunately in the previous years, I've been holding back a lot of stuff I couldn't say. And that's the reason why I felt like I was talking about different stuff. But I was actually saying what I was saying. If you pay attention, you will understand exactly that I was still saying the same thing. But it's just I was trying to play with words so that I might not get into trouble. But I'm not young anymore. I just want to create content and put stuff out there. Hopefully, someone who is new to this path will sit down and pay attention and, to, and listen to those who already walked the path. And I must say, there is no professor in spirituality 
There is no one who will say, I know it all. Even those who are pastors, they will still go and refer to the Holy Book. The Bible says that's the best they can do. That's the best they can do. Even if you ask them questions, they might try to reason, but at the end, for them to save themselves, they have to say it's written in the Bible. The Bible says. That's how it is. No one mastered spirituality. What you have to master is who you are, understand where you're from, where you're going, obey all the things that you have been told, follow that, pay attention, move with your pace, don't rush it, don't look at somebody who, and I must say this, don't look at somebody who did steaming once or twice and get a job and that things are running smooth or who did steaming once or twice and win a ticket from football and they start buying cars and everything and you think maybe it will happen the way it happened to others. No. There are those who only need to go to steaming once. They go to sleep. They get the answer that they're actually looking for. Maybe in their dream they will be shown that you need to move from Limpopo and go to Gauteng. You will get the job at this company that person will wake up every morning going to one company because of he's been shown that company in his dream in his dream after he did the steaming that's how it works others do the steaming and they dream about numbers they will see the granddad or the grand you know mom showing them the numbers they play the lotto numbers and they win the numbers if it's not the lotto numbers is this um same time what what I, I don't play numbers a lot i'm the football type of a guy you know they get lucky and they get that money and already they will show them that once you get this money this is what we want you to do maybe do farming maybe start this type of business maybe build a school maybe open a company and that person becomes successful because of what was actually needed from them was them to go steaming so that they will find clarity in their dreams and they can make things happen. So steaming is important. It removes the dark cloud. It removes the negative energy. Because you all know that we have positive and negative. And when you are in that plastic, that's when you become humble. Because of the heat will humble you. The heat will teach you discipline. When you are in that heat, the plastic is burning. You know you cannot quit. You know you cannot get out of it. Because of you went to the mountain, get stones. You went to the river and get water. Because of you know that you wanted to steam on that day. And this is the day whereby you have to steam. You already heated your, your, your stones. You have no choice but to go through with it. Because of you know that if you quit, you will have to start all over again. And you cannot afford that simply because of steaming requires you to be clean also. You cannot go and sleep with a lady or sleep with a guy and go and try to steam. It doesn't work that way. You have to abstain so that you can be pure. Because of you are trying to connect with oneself. You are trying to find who you are. When you are in that you know, um, plastic, when the heat, you know, do what it does best. It is not just the heat. It does what it does. <sighs> you know, uh, Africans, man, oh, we are lost, man. We are so westernized, man. Our forefathers, men have been using the steaming for ages. When I keep on talking about wisdom of the elders, it's because of they've seen stuff and they led. That's why they had things like the royal court or the elders who sit down and discuss certain matters which were happening in the village and they will find the fair solution they will find the judgment before the westerns can come and have this method of taking people to varsity so that they can study for years to understand the law which they created 
And everybody should follow the law that they created and the law that they always break, but they expect you to understand the law and follow that law. And they charge you money and they teach you. And unfortunately, the lecturer is a broken person teaching you a law which is designed by a broken person a person who found people living in peace and harmony and do what they do and make them change their culture make them change the way they're living and make them do things the way they want them to do things and from thereafter they give those people laws that they should follow and they said we are the holy ones follow our rules follow our laws and you'll go to heaven this is how we do things and this is how we judge if you judge according to the way we judge that means you're gonna go to heaven not the way you have been doing things a broken person finding people who have been living in peace and harmony who have been respecting each other who have been respecting animals who've been living alongside animals and they didn't even have the things like zoo where they're putting animals in one space let me not talk too much and that person says these are my law follow my law i'll give you the degree and you will be the judge in order for you to get the judgment this is how much you must pay us because of we designed the law for you so that yes you can live like us not like animals but anyway Oh God, I have so much that I want to say, man. But I'm telling you, the elders will steam, get clarity, make a good judgment. And when the person wronged somebody, they will find that person. And that person will have to pay a cow or a goat or chickens. And life goes on and people were forgiving. People were forgiving each other because of it was the spirit of Ubuntu. Now you make a mistake. They're throwing the keys somewhere. You are in a very small room. I've, I've been in Robben Island. And I can tell you. I can tell you that the lawmakers took our indigenous people from their culture, from how they used to live, and they took them to Robben Island. And they, they said, this is our law. And the likes of Nelson Mandela, they had to go and study that foreign law so that you know they can be respected and you know being crowned you know the president day they're like saying you are a king but the king is not that important we can make you a president it's important you will be called a honorable but in the bible the king way bigger than the president anyway Broken people making broken laws and taking broken people to varsity to teach them the broken law and yeah, the entire society become broken and they are looking at everybody and they said, why? Why are you behaving this way? Guys, steaming is important. Our great grandfathers and our grandmothers have been steaming and they were doing perfectly fine. Let me leave it here so that I can, I can create another video. Forgive me if I'm all over the place. I just want to talk. Let me talk.